Hey guys, Dean from the Bush Company. Now today I've got Shine with me and he's bought this really awesome looking 79 series single cab Utin in Sandy Torp, one of my favorites. So mate, give us a rundown of your vehicle. Um, I went with a single cab just for the whole work and play thing, oh. Yep. And I couldn't have picked a bit better truck. They're well built, strong, reliable and everything you need really in hey, one vehicle. That's a good old Land Cruiser. Yeah. And on the front end, what are we, um, we sporting up the front? Um, I went with all the TJM products because I yeah. reckon they have a really well built product. So I went with the bull bar, side brush bars, side steps. And the side steps, yeah. And the winch, just yeah. for anything, anytime you get stuck in a bad situation. Get your mates out as well. Yeah, <laughs> That'll get be really them to good. do everything for you. <laughs> awesome, awesome man. And I see the front there, a bit of communication there. Yeah, I went with the unit and two way radio yeah. with a bigger aerial to get that better reception everywhere you go and then with the TDM snorkel as well just to kind of keep it all under the one one company yeah so the snorkel is going to be great you know obviously for the dusty situations yep. and water crossings yeah for everything like that it's really good get it up to the lot. cape sometime eh? eventually slowly getting there <laughs> that'll be awesome now guys one of the best features I want to show you over here is the bonnet now check it this out this is awesome Tell us what you got there, mate. That is oh. fantastic. That is fantastic. <laughs> had to go, yeah. Had to go with the BT Cruiser struts just because our bonnets are so heavy. Yeah. And Sage's so busting your arm trying to lift it now. <laughs> that's right. I think that's one of the best mods. And uh, tell us what suspension and, and tyres you're running. Um, I went with the two inch Dobinson yep. lift through the whole thing with the remote red shocks just to give it that bit extra support. Went with more of like an all terrain tyre with the yep. Toyo Open Country RTs. That's the 33 inch tyre. Yeah, yeah, went with the 33. So 285, 75, 16? Yep. Fantastic. Exactly. All right, and on, on the side, you'll be running a decent set of clear view mirrors. Yeah. These are the extendable mirrors, right? So yeah. pull out. A little bit, right? yeah, a little bit stiff. A little bit stiff. <laughs> there we go, but that's all good. Yeah. Just so, to help with, uh, with work and that and towing a trailer to work with a, being a floor and wall tyler makes it a lot easier to see around the back of everything and see where I'm going. So interior wise, we've got seat covers. Yep, went with the uh, black duck seat covers to keep all the dust and everything off all the nice, nice interior. Just kept it all simple and easy. Nothing yep. too fancy in there. And I saw there you're running the R-Drive throttle controller. Now yep. Give us a bit of feedback about that. Uh, I couldn't, it's one of the best little modules I think you could ever buy. For yep. such a small little unit, it's made such a difference to such an awesome truck. And at the back, yeah, tell us a bit about the canopy. What's the whole choice with this? What is your, th you know, what's your thinking behind it? Um, I just went with a whole b build the car for a touring car and yeah. work as well. And tough tinnies and terrain build an absolute awesome canopy that bolts straight down onto the chassis. And in the inside, I saw you did a, a great wiring job there, mate. So, <laughs> you know, run through that, you got a, a dual battery system? Yeah, we did all the dual battery system myself with all the red arc gear and tried to do it all myself. And I think I did pretty well. Got a red arc solar panel on the roof. And um, the next step, I suppose, you came in for your, your tent, eh? Yeah, and I'm absolutely, it's kind of the last piece of the puzzle here. I've yeah. been absolutely stoked. That's been waiting good. two months now and I just could not, the day's finally come. I'm fucking excited. <laughs> well, mate, that's fantastic. Thanks for taking us through your truck. Guys, we're going to get fitting the tent on next, the classic clamshell tent. And yeah, let's get to it and see what it looks like when it's done. Awesome. awesome. Can't wait. All right, that's pretty much that. So, to give you guys a rundown of what I've done, is the canopy has got a roof rack uh, ready fitted. Um, they don't quite line up with the rails underneath the tent. So we've taken our go-to, which is also going to make it easier for us to get our hands in to fasten up the bolts. But Z rails are definitely the, one of the easiest ways. Measured it up uh, from the back of the canopy so we can get the tent basically in line with the back. And yeah, we've mounted it to these three points. Three fixing points is adequate. You know, that's going to really hold down nicely. Um, and then it gives us our adjustability on the top of the Z rail to move the tent forward or backwards that little bit if we, if we need to. So next step is to, yeah, get the tent down on you, bolt it down to that, and then we're done. All right, so we're back out here. Basically, the job done. It was a pretty straightforward install. We had it on, uh, set up on the 35 mil high Z rails. Uh, which went on yeah pretty easily mm. and uh, what do you think of the tent so far oh, i'm absolutely stoked it's turned out amazing yeah. it really sets off the whole car and the canopy now yeah it looks really good guys and what we didn't mention earlier is we fitted the the 270 degree gullwing awning as well uh Sha wanted that done so we just popped that on with the yeah. two uh brackets on the side there let me open that up so long and give you a show on how that comes out so pretty straightforward we zip it inside now yep. 
just catch your pole and your guy rope, so here we go. So you've got it already, mate. Beautiful. So <laughs> pop those down, but that's the guy ropes and the, and the poles if in those very windy conditions. And this should be pretty straightforward and we just take it to the back. Right around. Yeah, hook it up and then just tighten it up as needed. There we go. So that's it there. Over time, that'll straighten up nice. The canvas stretches, which, you know, pulls, pulls nice and tight. Um, yep. Yeah, while you're here, we also installed a 12 litre console fridge. Yes, yes, we did. So that's going to be awesome too. <laughs> went between the seats, great for on the road. <laughs> yep, yeah, another little armrest and another USB port. Armrest and, and, and a USB. There we go. <laughs> Anyway, guys, thanks so much for coming well, in today, mate. Thank you very thanks much. Thanks for um, joining the Bush Company family. <laughs> and guys, for more of our install videos and so on, go to um, our website at www.thebushcompany.net. Thanks for watching and catch you later.